We had an awesome night in the camp last night. A little bit of a steep learning curve, um, getting backed into a site and hooked up at night and in the rain. But um, I've got an awesome partner, Beth is amazing. We got the camp in, got it plugged in, all set up. Watched uh, two episodes of House of Cards, season four. We were up way, way too late. Uh, too much energy, too much coffee, but uh, we had a great time. Slept in. It's now almost 12.30. We're just starting the day. I can't say I've ever started a day at 12.30, and it feels so good to just rest, relax, and have no agenda, spend time with Beth. All right, we're gonna go to Truckee. So we are in an Ace Hardware in Truckee that is a very unusual Ace Hardware. Lots of cool little things. I think I'm in deep trouble. I think it sits on it. I'm not sure what it's for. Some plastic little, they had some over there, little um, old fashioned cups. That's a bag of starter sticks. Okay, Beth is going to the bathroom, but I just found an area that's going to be very problematic. She loves all of this stuff. Mark my word, she'll check this area out. I want you to go into the bathroom, row 14, and take pictures of the bathroom, because I like it for the barn and the, um, the bathroom in the barn, but also the bathroom in the house. What are we looking for now? Okay, Beth wanted me to check out the bathroom because she likes the decor. I can't go into the ladies' bathroom, but we're in the men's bathroom. And it's always funny talking to a camera. I don't know if that's what she's looking at there. We'll have to see. Now one thing Beth and I have collected are a few old antique sleds. You gotta take a look at this right up there. Get in the bathroom or the camp. Okay, seems like every corner I turn, more trouble. Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. I was afraid of that. Antiquing with Beth, of course. We did find some very cool things for Mad Attack. I'll try and weave a little photo in. But any of you that follow the uh, channel know that Matt is a huge, huge collector. It's really cool. This is a really This is an old building. Yeah, he's going to sell the building. We may only be able to get one bottle. Because that's 45 and this. Oh, I'll just get the green bottle. Oh, yeah, to pay tax. You're in the People's Republic. Tax. Isn't there a song that says it never rains in California? Not true. What do you think? We are drenched. You look like a wet rat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so wet. Um, Nevada City is very cool. Beth and I have been here before. It was fun to come back. Feels like we're in Oregon, quite honestly. We're having an awesome time. Beth and I had a great day, despite the rain. Felt like we were in, uh, felt like we were in Oregon, quite honestly. But the sky is uh, breaking up. Um, there's still some bad weather back over that way, uh, but that's okay. It's beautiful here. 
Beth just checked in at Weight Watchers. Bless her heart, she is doing awesome. And I found a geocache, so I'm gonna check out a geocache. I'm down 3.8 pounds in a week, checking in in Truckee, California. Good for you, congratulations. Thank you. All right, well that first geocache was a bust. I looked around for a long time, couldn't find it. I'm on the trail for another one. I only wish I had my buddy Matt with me. I'm using the uh, new road video mic me with uh, the dead cat. So I'm sure I look like an idiot walking around Truckee, talking to a phone with a big uh, fuzzy ball sticking out of it. One of my uh, YouTube subscribers or viewers said, uh, tell people you're talking to a Star Trek Tribble that's stuck on your phone. It kind of does look like a Tribble. So geocaching is a lot of fun. Um, when I'm out on road trips, I frequently take advantage of doing a cache. Just a reason to get out and do a little walk. Explore the area, get out of your vehicle and walk. I think I see where I'm going. I walk too far up that direction. No harm, no foul. It's fun to walk around and take a look at places. I think we're coming down right over here. Gotta watch out for muggles. Act like you're very inconspicuous, which is hard to do when you're talking to a Tribble stuck on your phone. All right, we're in the area. Okay, well, I did, I think I found it. I'm gonna show you right back down here. We'll try to be inconspicuous, but you see that little pile of rocks right there? That very much looks like, uh, right there. That looks like a geocache site to me. Okay, well we found the cache, which is very cool. And it is absolutely gorgeous here today in Truckee. The sky, I just love this time of day, um, especially with storm clouds and the sun coming out. It's just illuminated really, really, really nice. You know, I have the best wife in the world. The fact that she waits patiently for me while I do this stuff, I'm always gonna be thankful. All right, time to take Beth to a light dinner, and then back to the camp, house of cards. All right, Beth, what's the secret to success? Uh, Weight Watchers is great. Tracking your points is essential. Going to meetings and weighing in is the best part of the program. And um, staying on track, it helps you really stay on track. Working with family to do it helps also. Kelsey and I were looking at this place when we were in Truckee, I think last year. So Beth asked me what my favorite three things were today. And I asked her, you mean besides spending quality time with you without any agenda? And she said yes. So I thought hard and here are my three favorite things today. Number one, I really enjoyed shopping in the um, Ace Mountain Store. I just love those kind of stores. Two, geocache. And three, dinner finalized by a rainbow. 
love that rainbow. I would not have seen that had you not pointed it out. There was a couple that was coming into the restaurant <clears throat> and they were pointing and I kind of had to lean over and look, but it was amazing. So thank you, Jesus, for another amazing rainbow. Now, what were your favorite three things today? Um, breakfast this morning was great at that cute little diner in downtown Truckee. I love the drive between Truckee and Nevada City. It was just gorgeous. However, it was pouring the majority of the time. And also antiquing at this little antique store in Nevada City with a gentleman who is a World War II veteran, 90 years of age, and really 99.9% .9 all there. It was amazing. And uh, we actually bought something in there for Matt, which was really cool. So, yeah, those are my favorite three things. And the rain, I felt like I was in Oregon, although it rained harder here than it does in Oregon. Here's how you know you have a great wife. I want to do a time lapse of this sunset right here. And I asked Beth, can we, can we reposition and park in another section of the uh, parking lot? No questions. She said, absolutely. Well, it's cold here, cold. and uh, this is when that little wood stove in that legacy range camp comes in handy. And Beth and I are very much looking forward to getting back to the camp and starting up that wood stove. Okay, a little life from the camp. Um, a good friend of mine, Andy, you know who you are. We uh, were Snapchat friends. Yes, I am trying to work on Snapchat and other social media, just to kind of add some extra interest and other layers of content for the channel. He sent me a Snapchat, actually a Snapchat video of his truck with two different uh, temperature settings, one for his girlfriend, one for him. His is colder, the girlfriend is hotter. I don't know if you guys are the same. He said, her side, my side, her side, my side. In other words, hot, cold, hot, cold. The only problem with having a range camp with a wood burning stove, which is very cool, is that young lady right there. Toasty, toasty, toasty. Toasty, toasty, toasty. Um, <laughs> you could almost uh, just wear shorts and a t-shirt in here. We're gonna light the, um, one of the cool features of the camp is that right there. That is a gas lamp. So we have AC, DC lighting, and we also have gas lamps. So we're gonna light that tonight for the first time, very cool. Next time we go on a little walking trip like this, um, and it's starting to sprinkle, I think I should take the uh, GoPro with a waterproof house. Now what's your favorite geocaching pen? County Com Ambassador Pen. Can't beat it.